Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Uh, I want to talk about the comments that I got off, is it Michael Stevenson, regarding, he actually he made a good point, regarding the Joe Gallagher interview. Uh, a lot of votes in for Joe Gallagher for Elmer at month, cheers. Loads of votes in, but a lot for a few other people as well. Now, the Joe Gallagher interview on AFL where the young lad, is it Oscar, v Oscar Beavers, asks, Joe, what about a rematch then? The talking rematch, Tony Sims and Charlie Sims and John Ryder. And he said, are you effing taking the, the PIWS? What? Well, why? You're screaming blue murder for Paul Smith Abraham to get more mileage out of Paul Smith. You got Paul Smith. Uh, <laughs> you got Paul Smith a rematch against Abraham. And he got beat even worse. Then you still got him in a Zuga fight, another world title shot. But Paul Smith didn't deserve a rematch, and neither did Anthony Crawler. He won two rounds out of twelve against Linares in first fight. How's that a rematch? 10 rounds to two. It's not a rematch, but he said it were because it wide scoring. What? So what were this then? This for wide scoring, wasn't it? Because a lot of people had John Ryder winning. A lot of people had John Ryder winning, right? A lot of people, but... Hmm. But Michael Stevenson commented regarding Coogan Cassius' channel IFL and they took the comments section down on the Joe Gallagher uh, video. Now if people come to me and they know me and they say I didn't like what you say, I take the video down, right? I take the video down. Don't wanna, but I would never just disable the comments. You just take it down, don't you? And you know, whatever you've earned off it over that period of whatever it is, 12 hours or something. 18 hour period you lose it because it's behind three days so you don't get paid for the video you take it down you put it down to experience you get up off the floor and you move forward that's how winning is done Coogan Cassius no 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 IFL he's in charge like I'm in charge and my channel up there you go that is in charge I'm the one that pushes the buttons now Coogan sets these freelancers on and every every bit of traffic goes through him doesn't it if it's no good the book stops with Coogan Cassius now he's already got rid of James Elder which I didn't agree with but that's up to them not to do with me they disabled the comments section on the video on the Joe Gallagher video why why not take the video down because you're still letting us look at the comments section and he's behaving like a prat, Joe Gallagher, like a helmet, like a weapon. But you're not letting anybody comment on him being a weapon. So all you hardcore boxing fans are all sat at home now and you're thinking, next time Joe Gallagher does an interview, I'm just going to tell him he's a weapon. Because that's the society we're in, isn't it? Now you know this, Coogan, but you kept the video up because you still want to earn off it. Now... How bad is that? It's bad enough that you're hanging out at the back of Eddie Hearn and you've got no self-respect, but at least let the hardcore fans have an opinion. Let them have an opinion. And that's what it's about, having an opinion. You know, they want, now they're not going to give you any grief, Coogan, because you just ask a question. You've had splinters in your backside 10 years, you don't say anything. So... If Joe Gall's gonna, Gallagher is going to behave like that, the fans want to have a say, don't they? I want to have my say, but how can you? How can you when you're disabling the comment section? It's wrong and it's one-sided, isn't it? And do you know what? I'm starting to stop watching IFL videos at the moment because we're being trained, as brains are being trained, aren't they? A bit like with government, they're training our minds, brainwashing us. That's what it is, the brainwashing us into thinking that 
these fights are great. I mean, Robbie Williams against Liam Gallagher, Piers Morgan against Alan Sugar, headlining on pay per view with Ted Cheeseman on, on undercard. Ted Cheeseman, the big cheese against Fitzy on undercard. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Is that where boxing's heading now? I wonder what Ring Magazine would think about that. Do you know what I mean? Well, we'll get him a license. I mean, how's Eddie Hearn going to get Alan Sugar a license to fight? How's he going to pull that one off? How? How is he going to pull that one off? Because you can't put white collar events on with boxing shows if you're a boxing licensed promoter. So how are they going to do that? Be interesting, won't it? But good point from Michael Stevenson regarding what you said regarding the them taking comments down, but yet still leaving the video up so they can earn off it. Yeah, good comments. Very good comments. They probably end up earning about four or five hundred quid off that video. He's on Premier Ads, isn't he, Coogan? So, money talks, and BS walks. So, peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing. All right? Shout out to Innovation Alloys. Shout out to them dark horses that watch my channel. Okay? We know you're out there. All right? We're easy to weed you out, you know. Very easy. We just drop your name in a video. Flush you out. <laughs> So peace out.